You there, what's your name? Uh, it's Wesley. West, huh? You know, I'm not really a fan of employees with one syllable names. It implies a certain lack of conviction. What's your last name? Chun, sir. You're killing me here. All right, West Chun, I got a question for you. We got dozens of videos in our YouTube channel, right? Yes, sir. Well, I need information about them. Who are users? Where are they coming from? What are they doing? Are they eating anything? If so, is it cereal? And if so, what kind? And is there a toy inside? You got that? Yes. You know what? Scratch that. Just give me view counts of our views and those of our competitors. And somebody around here get me some cereal. I am starving. Oh, and Wes, I'm going to need that by lunchtime today. Lunch, sir? Wes, I'm not saying you're going to be fired if you can't get it done by lunch, but I'm not saying you're not going to be fired either. Oh, and uh, put some pants on. I'm running a business, not a summer camp. Yes, sir. Geez, going to each video to get the view count is taking forever. How am I supposed to finish by lunchtime? Hey, Google App Script. It talks to YouTube. West Chung, what is wrong with these view count reports? It's just a bunch of gobbledygook. Is this secret code? Uh, yes, sir. Let me refresh your screen for you. Oh. Oh, that is nice. Good job, West Chun. I think you're gonna find a little something extra in your paycheck this week. It's a, it's a ladybug. My daughter's into insects. It's a whole thing. Anyway, nice work. Hey, everybody, we're gonna break early for lunch. Wes is treating. Uh, actually, it's Wesley, sir. Oh, two-syllable man. I knew I liked the cut of your jib. Good job, Wesley. Do you want this to be you? Of course you do. New to App Script, it's a programmatic way to access data in Google Apps. Already use it? Think it's only for Google Docs and Sheets? Think again. With the YouTube Data API, you could be your boss's hero too. This is Google engineer Wesley Chun, and I'm going to help you get started on making an app just like the one you saw. Start by going to your Google Drive and creating a Google Sheet. Now put on your coding hat and let's go to the computer. So I've created a brand new sheet here, and I've already added three columns, uh, video ID, the title, and the number of views. So go ahead and make one of those, and add those three columns as well, and then think of a video that you want to get information on. I've already got one in mind, so if you have one too, just go to YouTube and then go up to the top in the URL, you can find the video ID, and then grab that and paste that into the very first available cell, which is A2. Now let's take a look at some code by pulling down Tools and Script Editor. And what you'll get, as you've seen before in previous episodes, is you're going to get presented with a bunch of templates and you're going to just choose Blank Project because our code is going to be pretty short. And what you're going to do is you're going to enter code like this, but wait till I describe each line first before you type them in. So change the name of the function to Get Video Info. That's the first step. On lines two and three, we grab the current active sheet and the data item in cell A2. So this is code that we've already seen before. You need to talk to the sheet and then you need to get the range of cells and then you need to pull out the specific values. In this particular case we're only looking at one cell and that's A2. The magic happens on line 4 which calls the YouTube Data API. And you do that by calling YouTube.Videos and its list method. The first parameter in the call to the list method are the video resources that you're interested in. Each video has multiple data sets to choose from. For example, statistics has information like view count, likes and dislikes, while snippet has the published date, title, and description. There are others with useful information too, not just the pair that we're requesting here. The second parameter is easier. This is just the ID of the video that we want to get data on. Since we're only asking for one video, we get back a JavaScript array that only has one row, so we save it in line 5. On line 6, we pull out the two items that we're interested in, the title, which comes from snippet, and the view count, which comes from statistics. Finally, they're written back to the spreadsheet in cells B2 and C2 by using the setValues method call. And that's it! But before we run the script, we need to first enable access to the YouTube Data API, otherwise we're not going anywhere. So go up to the Resources menu and pull down Advanced Google Services. Oh, before we do that, we have to enter a project name. So let's call it Get Video Info. Now once you have the Advanced Google Services dialog box, scroll all the way down and find the YouTube Data API and turn it on. Now this yellow dialog box pops up that says you must enable this in the Google Developers Console as well. So go ahead and click that. And then here on the API library page, look for YouTube Data API. 
select it, and then press the blue Enable API button. Once it's done, you can go back and confirm that it has been turned on by clicking on the Enabled APIs link up at the top. And there it is. All right, that part is done. Let's go back to the Advanced Google Services and then click OK to accept that. All right, so once we're back here, we can click Run to execute it. And there's the yellow dialog box, but ah, here comes the OAuth where we need to give authorization to this script to get access to your spreadsheet data as well as to talk to the YouTube data API. So click continue, you'll see the familiar OAuth2 dialog and we want this access so we're going to click allow and once the authorization has gone through you'll see the dialog box run and once it's done it disappears and if we're lucky we will see the YouTube video title and its view count. Cool. Now all we have to do is name this thing and then we'll be done. I'll call it anything you want. I'll call mine video statistics. So great. You were able to write an app script app that talks to the YouTube data API that pulls down information that you're looking for. Now you can impress your boss too. Wow, wasn't that cool? This isn't as complex as the one I ran earlier for my boss, but it's your jump start. The point is to show you that Automation, like using the YouTube Data API, is one of the main reasons to use AppScript. By the way, if the code was too hard to see, it's also in the Google Sheet that you can copy. The link is also in the description below if you're on mobile. Speaking of which, did you know that you could run your scripts from anywhere using AppScript's execution API? What else can you do with AppScript? Well, check out the docs, which include various quick starts to get you going. Want to know more about the YouTube Data API? Well, its docs will let you know what parameters to pass in and what to expect from API calls. If you can't get enough, the link at the bottom points you to more of these and other Google Developer videos. Hope we've shown you what a great tool AppScript is for automating laborious tasks. In this case, getting information on a bunch of videos. Want to learn more? In addition to the docs, stay tuned. In a few seconds, we'll link you to other AppScript episodes so you can see what else you can do with it. Hey, Wesley. Put these on. We're going somewhere fancy. This is Wesley Chan, and I'll see you the next time on the Launchpad Online.